It's your boy Shot Town Biz coming to you straight from Grudge Inc. Log on to grudgeinc.us. Log on to become a sponsor. Log on to Grudge Inc. to see all the news that you need to see about grudge racing. And we are starting something new here off the clock. Peace. One of the things that we have done in trying to be a more diverse grudge racing community, we have divided the country up into segments. And we are uh, use a keyword segue into that uh, component of this show and talk about the different people in the different regions and uh, we have four regions that we're going to talk about today and uh, one through four and you want if you want to see that uh, regional map go to grudging.us or ngra dot net. net well we're going to start off with uh, pro stock joe and uh, take a Poetic pause. I thought small pause. We are back. As you know, we broke down the uh, off the clocks uh, region for Grudge Inc. into different regions. And we have uh, four regions we're going to discuss today. Start off with our number one region will be Pro Stock Joe, president of the NGRA. Mr. Pro Stock Joe, thank you. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, dog. Um, yeah, um, in the 2014 uh, season, uh, Grudge Inc. done a, a very uh, admirable thing, breaking down the country into regions. Uh, there's always been a back and forth about which region of the country is best. We'll go over those things today. I'm going to talk about the uh, Northeast region, Region 1, uh, which extends, uh, begins in the south at uh, the great state of North Carolina, the Tar Heel State, and extends all the way north as far as uh, New York and Connecticut. Now, there are uh, several notable figures in, uh, that, uh, that are within Region 1. Of them, you would name folks like the DC Sniper, uh, Pro Mod, uh, Big Block Matricated uh, Pro Mod. You would name uh, Camp 3M, Mac Melvin and Monroe with a, a Silver Bullet S10 truck. You would also uh, name uh, Racing Jason and Poor Kid Productions of the great state of New Jersey, the Garden State, Wicked Bird out of uh, the DMV, that's DC, Maryland, and Virginia, collectively as they are known uh, together. He has a uh, a uh, Thunderbird. That's why they call it the Wicked Bird, and Wicked it is. Big Block as well. Then there's Big George, a uh, streetcar guy. Big George has the heart as big as the whole state of Maryland, the whole uh, district of D.C. where he's from. Uh, then there's Short Dog, Short Dog Racing, and Nephew, and uh, the Four Horsemen, um, Mean Gene and Kenny Beecham. Then there's Big Dick, that's Giganto and the Nasty Boys with uh, Gangster Lean and Pooh out of North Carolina, Dobbs Racing out of North Carolina as well. Then we have Virginia Slim uh, and uh, William Brown, obviously out of Virginia. And uh, we also have the old Jackson, uh, Herb DeRula and Django, several notable figures. Uh, also, I would be remiss if I did not mention the Pro Mod Heavyweight Champ of the World, Mighty Joe Young. Uh, those guys out of, the, out of uh, Buffalo and New Jersey collectively and uh, their car, Pro Mod, car called the Superman is driven by none other than uh, Ronnie Gardner out of, out of uh, Ronnie Gardner out of Piedmont, North Carolina. So now, I named uh, a lot of folks, uh, but now names to watch out for, Race and Jason would be at the top of my list. That guy was the Northeast Grudge Racer of the Year for 20 uh, 12, I do believe, two years running. But 2013 was not a stellar year for him. As a matter of fact, it was quite a downer. He got beat on uh, a couple of occasions by Mack and Melvin and the Silver Bullet. And, um, and uh, overall, did not have a, a good race in year. Came down to World Grudge Nationals, the biggest and baddest race on the planet uh, in Rockingham, July 4th weekend of 2013. But they came down there and it was a no-show. He was a no-show. He did not compete. He did not engage. And that is very uncharacteristic, very unlike that team, Poor Kid Production. So you can look for them to be, uh, to try and, uh, regain their footing, retake their place in the 2014 race campaign. Also, I would talk about the DC Sniper, Matt Sweet and Tim Booth. Those guys are, uh, uh, 
were once kings of the pro mod world when they hooked, teamed up with Dobbs Racing out of North Carolina. Uh, they are going solo this year. Uh, they've um, gone on the offensive. They made some improvements, and uh, we look for them to have a stellar year as well. Um, the four horsemen, Kenny Beecham, has done the unthinkable in the 2013 season. He has beat the 2012 back half grudge racer of the year, Big Sexy, Jimmy McFadden from the great state of South Carolina from the South region, which will be discussed just uh, momentarily here. But he did the unthinkable. He beat him twice. And um, in that, as such, he has to be one of the names that we speak about when we talk about those folks to watch in the 2014 campaign. The Four Horsemen, they put their team together. Mean Gene got a new uh, O2 Camaro, uh, burgundy in color. I think he's primed it now. But, uh, again, another car to watch. And uh, uh, Small Block O's John, the other member, around it out with Nephew Pete. Again, um, other folks to watch, Gigantor. Gigantor. All six foot seven of them, big dick is what I call him. That's my man from the great state of North Carolina, a small town called Chatham. Those guys, every time they come to the racetrack, they have to race. They will race John Forrest, Kenny Bernstein, and uh, Tony Bynes, and, 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 and any pro. They'll race anybody, but those guys race. They're called the Nasty Boys, and they're called that for a reason because they have a nasty disposition when it comes to racing. Those guys are a team to be reckoned with. They had um, all kinds of troubles. They had uh, blown engine after blown engine. They had wreck after wreck if that team. And again, no disrespect to the aforementioned Nasty Boy Racing Team. They got one missing component, and I believe that is uh, a, a quality tuner. I've uh, just been introduced to somebody uh, that fits that criteria. I forget his name. It escapes me at the moment, but... Uh, Name is Hatchet. That might be somebody they want to look up, and uh, maybe I can put those two together. Because if those guys, the Nasty Boys, the Gangster Lean, the Underdog, and the Gigantor Regal, headed by all six foot seven, as again, my man, Big Dick, Flash, uh, the CEO of Nasty Boy Racing, if they get a tuner on that team, watch out, Grudge Racing World, watch out. Also, uh, another guy that uh, has to be talked about, uh, has to be mentioned in this conversation, would be Herb Darula from Piedmont, uh, North Carolina. This guy came down to World Grudge Nationals, and he raced and raced and raced again. I mean, uh, that was a fantastic day of racing, but he, uh, along with the Django car, stood out as the MVP of that two-day uh, race spectacular. So Herb Darula is another one on the 2014 uh, list to watch. I mean, I don't want to overlook anybody. There are several notable teams, as I, as I said. Uh, those guys are up and coming. But uh, 2014 is, is, is um, for the Northeast region. There are a lot of promise, and um, there's a lot of promise in that region. Those guys have been uh, um, the underdogs, the, the step cousins to Region 2, which Willie Dog will go over in just a moment. But uh, I believe they are fast emerging, and they will be uh, forced to be reckoned with in the 2014 racing season. This is Pro Stock Joe, and now you know what I know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back, and we want to thank Pro Stock Joe for that. Off the box, Grudge Inc. And we're back. This is Pro Stock Joe, and again, we're off the clock. I'm sitting here with an esteemed uh, group of uh, Grudge Race commentators. We are discussing the 2014 uh, race season. We are going region by region. And we're going to want to point out the notables as the Grudge Racers, uh, Grudge Race events come to your town. We want to make sure that you know who to watch out for. Okay, uh, next up to talk about Region 2, I have Willie Dog Watson from the great state of Georgia. Willie Dog, take it away. Man, uh, if y'all just heard, man, it's going to be hard to follow that dog on number one region with Pro Stock Joe because you know that man puts it down. But... Unfortunately and fortunately for me, I got the region really that don't really need no talking about. But do the doggone uh, off the clocks and grudge ink, we're going to talk about it. And we're going to start off, uh, this region covers Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and South Carolina. Like I said, need I say more. Those right there are the best there is. But I'm going to start off with Tennessee. And I'm going to go up there with some of the less known guys in Tennessee. They got a team up there by the name of True Racing. Them boys up there got a couple, three Mustangs and an old Nova up there. True Racing out of doggone Tennessee. They followed up with another 
uh, less known individual by the name of Dog Owner. They call themselves also the Nasty Boys, but they're the Nasty Boys of Tennessee. And that's my man Craig up there with a dog on uh, one system. How he said, I think I seen Post Office Joe once said, the man said, I'm ready to run any small block on one system and I'll run it for anything. That's Craig and the dog on Nasty Boys of Tennessee. Then we got the big known guys that everybody know, Whip and the 901 Bad Boys out of Dog on Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, they are the ones to look out for. And like uh, my esteemed co-worker or my co-panelist, Mr. Uh, Pro Stock Joe said, those are some of the guys to look for in the near future coming up for 2014. Then we ease on down to Alabama. Now, we everybody's waiting on the one and only. The number one stunner, DJ Grant out of Alabama. We heard big things about him, but we ain't seen nothing he did. So 2014 got to be a breakout for DJ Grant, the number one stunner coming out of Alabama. Also, we got his doggone cousin, his friend, Buck Naked. Now, Buck Naked was raising a little hit at the end of 2013. And uh, we're going to see, can uh, he continue to go on in 2014? But Buck Naked is the one on the radar to be looking for. Also, not to be outdone, we got my man Greg Pruitt, better known as Hood Rat. Now, he has two cars, a Pro Mod car, and he got a top sportsman car, if you want to call it. And he has also a grudge car that he run around with back at. Anyway, those three guys are to be looked for in 2014. Not to mention, on the Pro Mod scene, that's the home of Mr. Five Speed, Mr. Evan Hall. So out of that state of rich state of Alabama, we looking for bigger and better things. It got to be better, because DJ Grant ain't did nothing in 2013. <laughs> Anyway, moving on down the dog I'm gonna move on over. To, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump schedules here. I'm gonna move on over to dog on Georgia. And in Georgia, boy, we got some of the cream of the crop there. We got the dog on G body champs, the white boys. They're they they're, they're rebuilding and they're coming back strong for 2014. Also, we got the extreme 29 inch champ, the little Rick, out of the great state of dog on uh, uh, Georgia, Meta Georgia to be exact. Then. Words don't need to describe this here. We got the infamous, almighty, three-time running, grudge race of the year, Tony Boss Bynes. And uh, like I said, anytime he's around, you know there's always action. So at least just with those guys, those will be looking out for, not to mention, Coop Performance. Coop Performance is coming on the scene hot and heavy. They have been a force in this game here lately, and they are definitely going to step their game up. Not to mention, not to leave out my man, to Jolly Rancher, Big Dave. Now, Big Dave and Jolly Rancher and Cooper Farmers, I'm going to say those are the ones you better look out for in 2014 because I think, you think Tony Vines dominated, I think they will be dominated in 2014. Also, now, we move on down to the great state of Florida. I say the great state of Florida, but to me, the hell, uh, I can't talk about them bad, but Florida, they don't impress me. But they do have the NOS, 29 inch champ. Cold killer. The number one guy right now on the scene. And man, oh man, he said for 2014, he coming out and make a statement in the radio class. Also, we got the unknown, the big time, the doggone lizard, the buzzard, as Bobby Childs want to call him, Baldy, with the ugliest Nova in the world. I mean, that's got to be the ugliest car I ever seen him. It's a uh, doggone Baldy and the doggone uh, lizard two racing team, anyway. Then we go down to the doggone boys. Big low and the doggone crew chief and T5 and all them guys coming out of Florida. Like I said, man, Florida has a lot of potential, but like I said, every time we go down there, we rip havoc on them. So anyway, cold killer, bald and big low. All we looking for bigger things for them out for the coming year. Then we ease on down to South Carolina. And we got the number one driver, if you want to say it, in the world. Chris Two, my man Chris Two there, you know, he also has a doggone radio car that he that he races it uh competitive too and uh sanctioned body races and everything. Then we got the doggone it supposedly been the 2012 back half champ of the world, Big Sexy. With the doggone Big Sexy Camaro. He should be out and up. And also we got my man that loves to talk trash and he think he can beat everybody in the world. My man, Tony hit the right. And you know goodwill if any time he's around, there will be action. Not to be outdone, we got one of the winningest ride, one of the winningest <coughs> rivals and calls in South Carolina history this year. Even though they, most of them came in shootouts, well, my man Johnny Realtree, the lethal weapon uh, Monte Carlo, 
Also, he had one of the biggest races in, that it was going up against my man, Cole Killer. He came out second place, and then at the time he was holding the NOS 29 inch belt, but he ran up against my man, Cole Killer, and he came in second place. So with that being said, between Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and South Carolina, if you can't doggone get a heck of a doggone race out of just that region by itself, it speaks for itself. And if you think it was good in 2013, just wait to 2014. This is Willie Dog, and we'll see you at the races. Welcome back to the Grudge Inc. Off the Clock TV show. And uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed this much of the segments and we're moving forward. We got bigger and better things to talk about. So uh, we appreciate uh, Pro Stock Joe as well as Willie Dahl for their recap of the uh, divisions. But we're moving right along. Now we're going to one of the most anticipated, heavily competition. We're going to the Midwest. None only King Biz himself. King Biz, take it away. Well, they got a little video going on now uh, saying that uh, he ain't no king of mine. I'm no longer King Biz. <laughs> but it's okay. He ain't no king of mine. But we're going to talk about a few states in uh, Region 3, which is the state of Michigan, uh, the state of Indiana, state of the, the state of Illinois, namely Chicago, and uh, Kentucky. Well, let's first start off with the great state of Michigan. It is a lot of good grudge racing going on in Michigan. In 2014, uh, we're going to see the return of my main man, Jimbo. Jimbo will be back to wreck havoc on all competition in the state of Michigan. Uh, will we see Lil Tony race in the whole year of <laughs> damn 2014? He didn't race not one damn race in 2013. Can he race in 2014? Then we got my main man, fake racer of the year, Chemo. Chemo, <laughs> oh will you race in 2014? 14, Governor Wayne took care of Chemo, took care of Johnny Quick. Will we have Rubes? Will Rubes come back out in 2014? And we have Young Money. Young Money, last time I seen you, I seen space between my car and your car. Mm -mm. That is considered a gap. Oh, shoot. And Big Bad Brian Davis. Yes, sir. Brian Davis will be back in 2014. Sure. Now, let's go down to the state of Indiana. We had a racing team that came out of the state of Indiana that turned gross racing upside down. Mm -mm. The team SVO Preach, will be back next year, and they're coming out with an all Grudge car. We had a lot of people complaining because they turned on the clocks a few times at some of the races. But Team SVO said that they coming out next year with an all grudge car. And they're going to do the same thing to them boys down south that they did in 2013. They're going to do it to them on a true 28 stock suspension, stock block, small block, what they did in Jackson, South Carolina. We got Leon and Man coming out with two different <laughs> back half uh, 69 Camaros are ready to give action in 2014 and then I am in the state of Indiana so I have to mention my boys race engineer and race engineer they coming out and I hate to say it uh, it's a it's a big fella down in Mississippi with a Nova and they coming out with a Nova a back half Nova Nova and I'm telling the South I'm telling the East Coast, and I'm telling the West Coast, don't start crying talking about tire sizes and power additives 
If you have a back half cop, run ET. Run ET. Do not run a tie size. Don't run a power at it. My boys, race engineering out of Crown Point, Indiana, is coming out with a bad. You heard of a bad Nova? They're coming out with a bad Nova. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Chicago. We all know that Chicago is a city. But out of the great city of Chicago, we have some of the biggest and baddest grudge racers. That's where I learned the craft of uh, my drag racing career, which was short-lived. But in the event, we got Danye, which is a national player in Grudge racing. Only one y'all got. <laughs> we have great Tate the Great. He will be coming back in 2014. DJ Grant's all for payouts. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ground and Pound, who did a lot, lot, we lot of traveling this year and had won this share races. Beat me and Willie Dog. You know what? I should have seen right then and there. When Willie Dog lost the ground and pound, that this uh, marriage between me and him was going to be rocky. He couldn't even be freaking ground and pound. So, now, ground and pound <laughs> whooped me three days in one day. Three oh, times in one day. Damn. Whooped me so bad, it got me stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> we got my man Tommy, all throttle, no bottle. We got the East Side Stranglers. I do want to mention them on national radio, because if I don't, they have to take the panties off. TV. This TV. Take the panties off and be upset because I didn't mention them. But East Side Stranglers, how you doing? Race somebody. Uh -oh. We gotta talk about three love. We all know three love is gonna race. He's gonna race. He's gonna race. Anytime he's at the track, him and drag is gone. Uh, it's going to going to race. Hold on, we got to do one thing about three love, sir. Before you go, to yes, sir. We're gonna do a benefit race for three love. <laughs> <laughs> that got to be the ugliest got race car in the, in, in racing history, man. <laughs> there you go. Benefit race. That mean ain't nothing to happen with that man car. Some older. <laughs> <laughs> now you heard that from Willie Dog himself, the Godfather. But I want to say something about my set on kill crew. Uh, you know that I, how much I love and represent my Set on Kill crew, as well as my grudging family. But the, 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 the most important thing of my Set on Kill crew is we are like family. And within that, within that family, we have the best racing family that I have been around in my life. Uh, the Story family. They have their, their young, his young sons, I'm talking about Ron, um, he has his two young sons in that team, has his dad, uh, um, we ha even have his wife and his daughter all collectively come together, go to the track, cook, race, have a good time, uh, build his dad, race, you know, uh, uh, we, the friends, cousins, brothers, all of them come out and have a good time. And in 2014, uh, he's getting a little boosy built, and he, and he told me. He said he not studding DJ Grant, huh? and that's a that's a that's a that's who a is? Midwest term stud. He ain't stud, little boosie, little boosie. He's a small block, stock suspension, uh, uh, Mustang Boosie. with a turbo. Little boosie said he ain't studding DJ Grant, and tuned by Bob Kurgan. Uh -oh. And uh, uh <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about money, man. <laughs> so uh, with that. Man, we're looking forward to uh, Grudge Inc. coming to uh, the Midwest again this year. Uh, and, and, and all of you guys supporting what Grudge Inc. brings to you guys. Uh, 2014 is going to be a great year. And our first uh, Grudge Inc. race is in No no Problem Raceway in Louisiana. See you there. Okay, with that being said, you thought Pro Star Joe talked a lot. Man, oh man, that biz can do it too. <laughs> we'll be right back with Off the Clocks, Grudge Inc.
Today I'm off the clock with GrudgeInc.us. This is your boy DJ Grant, aka the number one stunner, coming to you live. If you want more information, log into GrudgeInc.us.